Hey, everybody. This is Alex Linebrink, the founder and CEO of Passage Ticketing. And I want to talk to you today about using the Passage Ticketing platform when it comes to uh, musical performances and even theater venues. So if you fit into that category, you're a professional uh, a, a user of event ticketing, right? Like you do something that's special, um, that is uh, repeated day after day, and that you need professional features to actually help you manage your audience, reach more fans, uh, create upsell opportunities, get the reporting you need, all of that sort of thing. When my partner and I started passage ticketing back in 2014, we aimed to serve that underserviced, you know, niche category that is those folks that sit in that professional level, but they're maybe not, you know, the arena size professional level, right? They, they don't want something that's going to take 40 or 50 or 60% of their revenue like a ticket master, but they also don't want to be stuck on one of those generic self-service systems next to, you know, the group doing their book club at their home meetup. You obviously have bigger needs than that. You need to do things like, like get more people in your seats, manage, you know, those upsells, membership passes, things like that. And it's a little bit more advanced. So that's where we fit. When you need the customization and control to take care of your brand, take control of your brand and have these added features, that's where we sit. And we think Passage is going to be a great solution for you in that medium market size. So to run through some things that differentiate us uh, from some of the other ticketing platforms out there real quick. Number one, we are made for your event. We let you take control of and customize your, your event page, your entire experience far more than everybody else out there. And we actually include features and functionality that are unique to each specialty event category that we work with. So, you know, for certain categories, this is things like time ticketing and repeat time slots or variable ticket types. You can have more than one ticket type with different price points and different inventory control. Sometimes it's bundles. So you can actually bundle merchandise and concessions in with your ticket sales. Um, sometimes it's advanced promo code and group discount features or the ability to encourage people to share with their social networks and get a discount. And then you are able to add those thousands of people on their social networks, the social networks of your fan. You're able to add those to your audience. So again, we have tons of features that really hit that pro level market and, and help you grow your audience and manage those events in ways that you couldn't do before. Number two, it's an insanely simple system. Um, we're going to help you get set up and started selling tickets. And the first step setting up your account is just 60 seconds that it takes. From there, you can either start setting up your events or send your details to us because we have concierge support to help you every step of the way. You can send us um, your entire event schedule. We'll set it all up for you. We'll help you with anything by chat, by email, by phone. We have real support that's ready to help you same day uh, right away. If you're having problems, we'll take care of it right away. Uh, and also, we're going to make sure you get paid within two business days of every sale. No more having to wait until your event ends. You're going to get paid. If, if you sell a ticket on Monday, you're going to see that money hit your account on a Wednesday, even if the event is two months from now. And then finally, the Passage Ticketing Platform is absolutely all in one for all of your payment needs. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to use us for every payment that you have, uh, but it means that you can. So if you want to stop dealing with four or five or six different payment account vendors and just deal with one to handle all of your tickets and merchandise and concession sales, both online and at the door, that's us. We're here to simplify your life and help you just make things a little bit easier uh, to use and, and, and keep things you know nice and tight together in one place. Uh, and th these reasons and more are why if you go to discover events from gopassage.com, you're going to find a list of thousands of events around the world. Uh, most of them are in the U.S., but we have some in Canada. We have some in Australia, some in Europe. So um, this is a list of all of our events here. And these folks use us, everybody from, you know, escape rooms to music uh, venues to theaters to professional sports teams are using us to help power their ticket and payments to millions of fans every year. And it's because of those reasons I just mentioned. We, we help them expand their audience and simplify uh, their life by taking some of those items off their plate when it comes to event ticketing.
So with that, I would love to jump over to some test events and actually show you through our system. So right now you're looking at the core, the core theater. This is a test uh, venue that I have set up. And right here, you're going to see a list of uh, all of the events that are going on right now at the venue. We've got a big concert tonight. We've got a map over here so your fans can find you and some graphics and a custom background and custom colors. And that's all to say, this is something that you can absolutely customize to meet your brand. And we also have the ability to have products here. You can have merchandise for sale. You can even have ticket packages. Um, so we can have a super fan package here or something like that. And we have a, a, a venue uh, calendar over here. So you can see everything that's going on at this venue right over here as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click into one of those events, Ocean Fire. So this is a setup of the uh, perfect, you know, music event. It's it's the standard music event, right? Like we've got our custom background, our custom graphics, our showcase page, and we even have playable videos that you can embed right in here. And this is because we have found that when you get your fans excited before they purchase tickets, they tend to check out at a higher conversion rate and spend more money checking out. So we try to give you a showcase to keep your fans excited before they check out. Uh, and it works. We saw conversion rates increase by 4%. Uh, this sort of thing really works to help you go to the next level with your event ticketing. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click buy now so we can start the purchase process. But one thing I do want to mention before we dive into that, uh, this is something that you can get people to by linking over to the event page or the venue page on our site, or you can embed this right into your website. And when you embed it in your website, it looks something like this. Uh, this is Go Comedy Theater, an improv theater in Metro Detroit that uses our platform for hundreds of events every year. Uh, they do um, the ten, upwards of 10 events a week. So it's, it's a great setup, 10 shows a week. And when you click that buy now ticket that floats over the page, you can see this purchase process happens right over their page. I'm sorry, my internet is just a little slow right now. That's not our platform, but you can see a list of all of their events. And again, you know, we, we have a calendar of what's going on right up here in the top right. So you can see all the different events that they have lined up, or you can click into the individual ones here and it works great. Um, so this is how it works if you want to embed it right into your website so that your customer is never leaving your site. But you could also just link over to all of that on our site. Either way, the process is about the same. The first step you're going to see is going to take you to choosing whether you want to see one of our special bundles that we have set up, if you have any set up, or the tickets that are available. And this is something that is pretty special to us. We have the ability to have bundles of tickets, merchandise, um, whatever you want to include in those bundles. And these can be used for, you know, a super fan pack where maybe they get a VIP access and a backstage access and maybe even a t-shirt. They can select their size and all of a sudden it pops up and lets you add that to your cart. Um, or it could be used for something that's more like a flex pass. You could absolutely let somebody pick any, you know, four of the next seven events that are going on and, um, in doing so, get a 10% a discount when they purchase four events at the same time or something like that. All of these options are here. We even have the ability to do plastic cards that have a scannable barcode and can get in once to every one of your events coming up if you wanted to do a membership pass or something like that. It's all there. A lot of professional stuff above and beyond what you'd find elsewhere. But if I wanted to just purchase a single, you know, ticket to this event, I wouldn't choose that packet, uh, package option. I would do something like the, the single get tickets option down here. And you don't have to go through this whole process. You can actually just link right to this ticket select page if you want uh, and skip this whole process. But if I get to this ticket select page, we're going to see a list of tickets available. Uh, the bar minimum is you, you have to have at least a general admission, you know, something like that. But you can have as many as you like. So we could have VIP passes, backstage passes, a student price point, whatever you like. They can all have different inventories, different uh, quantity available or um, uh, different price points as well. Uh, we even have the ability to do group passes. And in this case, you can actually offer your customer a discount. 
Um, it looks like in this case, it's $10. Or if you have 10 or more people coming, you can get a $2 discount off the standard price. Uh, but when they click the purchase window, they actually have to buy at least 10. So that's a great upsell functionality right here in line. If somebody's got eight people they're coming with already, they're going to call their buddy and say, hey, do you want to join us? Because if we get it to 10, we're basically going to get the equivalent of a couple tickets free here. We also have the ability to ask questions and actually have registration info. You can ask as many items as you like, and they can either be free form edit at the bottom, or you can have a drop down to have them select from that. So you can do things like ask somebody their their cell phone number if they want to get um, you know updated deals and discounts and notices for your next event, and you can start collecting those numbers so that you have a text message you know uh, mailing list, uh, texting list to get out to and promote your events to. But you can also do things like, how do you hear about us? Or, you know, do you uh, have a, a, you know, uh, birthday party or a special occasion going on or something like that? So I'll go ahead and select two general admission tickets and uh, maybe that I heard about this from the friend and I will add that to my cart. And this works whether you're doing general admission ticketing or assigned seating. So we even have the ability to build out entire seating charts that you can click into, uh, zoom into as needed, um, select, you know, where you're going to check out, even do things like table seating and that sort of thing as well. And these are all super easy to edit and create in the back end, but we can help you out and do all of that for you as well. Back to the general admission checkout, as soon as I add those tickets to my cart, we're going to see our upsells pop up. So doing both online and at the door ticketing, we have found that people tend to spend 80% more online than they do at the door. And I'm not totally sure of what the reasons are here. I don't know if it's because they don't feel rushed or they don't see the, the money coming out of their wallet or it's just that they have that chance to call their buddy. But this means it's your opportunity to keep that wallet open and, and get more money from them in the middle of this transaction. So if you have anything else that you can offer them, this is your opportunity right here in the upsell window. We really doing nice, you know, uh, t-shirts, stuff like that. Um, and you can have it so they have to pick it up at the event. We do have shipping options too, and you can even charge a shipping amount. But if you want to just lock it down where they just show their ticket at the merch booth, you can. So merchandise is a great option. Um, concession sales is a great option. Uh, a large portion of the people that purchase tickets won't ever show up. So you can afford to discount that concession credit. And the other benefit here is you've got their money you know, up front. So you've got their money now rather than at the point of your event. You get their money earlier and you've got it whether or not they show up here. So this is something we highly recommend as well. So I'll go ahead and add a uh, t-shirt, a large t-shirt to my cart. I'll click add to cart and the checkout button pops up. If I scroll down, that checkout button actually locks to the top of the page. And here's something that's kind Interesting. If you were to use uh, this system on mo a mobile device, let me show you how that works real quick. Uh, it would basically look like this where it's kind of scrunched down here. And we actually move that checkout button to the bottom here. So it's very easy to scroll through again. But that checkout button, instead of being at the top of the screen, is down at the bottom because that's where the user's thumbs rest on their mobile device. And believe it or not, minor changes like that do make a difference. That actually increased our conversion rates when we started putting that checkout button right at the bottom. So that's to say we are prepared for the mobile revolution that's happening. Already 70% of the sales that happen on our platform are done via mobile device, and we expect that to only increase over time. So we really recommend having a system that is ready for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just make this full screen again, and we will click checkout to complete our transaction here. And this is the final part of the transaction. We're at, at our checkout screen. We have the ability to add or subtract, you know, tickets if we hit the plus or minus buttons here. Um, we also have a full promo code engine, which is really cool. Um, you know, you could do promo codes as many as you want for a dollar or percentage amount off, and it can be any combination of numbers and letters. So think about using this to gauge your marketing. You could see whether the radio code or the newspaper code works better. But also think about things like creating a thousand different promo codes, each good for, you know, 
uh, one free ticket if you purchase another and then doing a promotion where you spread those out to your different marketing channels or maybe a thousand different promo codes for your resale partners and promoters that are each good for two dollars off of a ticket um, for these promo codes but when uh, but you know to track who is giving out that code. So if you give a code to um, the local nonprofit, maybe the Girl Scouts and say, hey, for every ticket you sell, uh, we're going to donate $2 uh, to you and give that person $2 off. Uh, you'll be able to track that using our robust reporting at the end of the day. It's a really powerful promo code engine. Now, you've probably seen promo code engines before, uh, but something I doubt you've seen is our social discount engine. We actually have the ability to give somebody a discount in exchange for sharing on social media right then and there. And here's how this works. They'll click you know, the button here. It'll pop up a window. Uh, and this is going to pre-populate a tweet, or if it was the Facebook button, it would pre-populate a Facebook post that says, hey, you know, I just bought tickets to this event. Join me and gives a link to purchase. Now, you can change what the link is by default. You can make that go back to your website if you like or something like that. But the idea here is as soon as they click tweet, they're going to get that discount. Um, in this case, I believe we had it set up to two dollars so that automatically applies we see that that tweet goes out we apply that discount and you've just paid a dollar or two dollars uh, or whatever you have that set up as to get out to their four thousand or five thousand twitter followers or facebook friends and ideally those are people that are in the same area maybe interested in the same things maybe even like this person enough to want to go to an event with them so that can be really powerful uh, marketing for you at a very low cost point. So we really recommend enabling the social discount engine and using that to grow your audience uh, exponentially for your next event. Finally, down here at the bottom, the ability to pay. Now, I happen to be logged in, but if I wasn't, it would just ask for my name and email address. Um, I am only logged in. We don't require people create an account. I'm only logged in so that I can use a saved credit card here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that saved credit card, click purchase, and it's going to ask me, hey, are you sure this amount is correct? I'll click OK, and that completes our online purchase. Now, that user is going to get an email with their tickets attached and a receipt and a message from you guys. And that ticket can be printed out or just pulled up on their mobile device, which honestly, probably two thirds of our customers do at this point. They just pull that ticket right up on their mobile device. But just in case they fat finger their email address, we're also going to give them all that information right here on the screen. So they've got add to calendar buttons. They have view tickets. Email a ticket to a friend. If you purchase for a buddy, you can just plug in their email address and name and send one of those tickets over to your buddy. But let me pull up what that ticket looks like just so you can see that real quick here. So this is an example of the printed ticket. The um, mobile ticket looks very similar. It's just kind of geared to fit that mobile screen, that mobile phone. So the first thing you're going to see is at the top, their name, what they purchased, two general admission tickets in this case, and that t-shirt that we checked out with. You also get that logo in the top right for the event, um, a scannable barcode, which we'll come back to in just a second. Any notes and instructions from you guys. So if you want to include anything here, like come in the south door, the north door is closed, or, or you know, park across Smith Road, or whatever you want to include, you can do that right here. Uh, and people do reference this for what happens at their event. They do check this. So this is a great place to include that info as well as that email receipt that goes out. Uh, we have venue info down here as well. Uh, so they can find your venue and then a brought to you by section. And this brought to you by section is super, super powerful. Um, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the ticket here. And let me tell you why. Uh, one of the big things here is that um, you probably have to have sponsors. If you're an established venue, you're going to want to make revenue by more than just what's going on at, uh, at uh, your ticket sales. And this is a way, to, a place to put your sponsor logos and to encourage them. You can tell them they're going to be on 20,000 tickets this year if they give you an extra $10,000 sponsorship. And that's going to help you incentivize those sponsors. So this can be a very powerful area as well as, you know, including them on your event page and that sort of thing. But this is huge. Actually, some Something that the customer will have in their hands. The sponsors are going to eat that up. Whether this is a logo you put down here or a coupon or something like that, this is going to be huge for them. 
All right, so with that, I'm gonna pull my mobile device over and this is how we check people in at the event. Uh, this is my mobile phone um, using the Passage Manager app. You can download that on the Android or Google Play Store. You can download it in the Apple App Store. Um, it's available on both. It can run on iPhones, Android phones, tablets, iPads, whatever you like. And this is how we check people in. So this app is super smart. It's actually pre-downloading the list of tickets in the background at all times. And this makes it so you can check people in in 0.2 seconds per scan. Even if your internet slows down or drops out entirely, it's that fast. And here's how that works. I'm just going to point uh, my viewfinder at that barcode and then tap the screen and instantly we're gonna get a green check. And there's actually a really loud sound that is a positive, like, hey, yes, this is a valid ticket sound. Um, unfortunately, you can't hear that through the microphone because it's just blaring into my headphones right now. Uh, but you'll also see on the screen, in addition to the green check, which means let somebody in, you're gonna see their name and the ticket they purchased, which is great for VIP opportunities. You could say, welcome, Mr. Linnerbrink, uh, right this way to the VIP suite or whatever. Uh, it works really good for that sort of thing. Now, since this pass had two tickets attached to it, if we scan again, we're going to instantly get another green check that says let another person in. Um, so, yeah, you can let both people in. But if we try it a third time, we're going to get that red X because both of those passes are already used up. So uh, that's how fast it is to scan people in. Now, what if somebody screws up and, and loses their ticket or their dog eats it or they were going to pull it up on their phone and their phone battery died? You can just hit the guest tab here. And as soon as I click that, we're going to get an area to type. So I can just type in two letters of the last name. Instantly, a list of guests with that name are going to pop up um, and you will see any tickets they have available. In this case, all the passes are used at the top, but we do have some products at the bottom. So they might take this over to the merch booth. We can hand them their small T-shirt and then tap the toggle button there to mark this as completely redeemed. So that's how you how it works to check people in via the guest list here as well. Uh, either way, it's super fast to check people in. It's gonna make your life at the box office really easy. Now, the other thing that we can do from the app is we can hit the sales tab at the bottom and actually sell tickets to our event. But this is just a little bit nicer on the iPad. So I'm gonna do that on this version. All right, so this is my iPad. I'm on the same sales tab. It works the same whether you're using the phone or that iPad. Whoops, where'd my iPad go? Let me pop that back. Um, just a little more screen real estate on the iPad. So over on the right or left-hand side, we can click the date and time. In the middle, our ticket types will show up that are available. We can add a couple general admission to the, to the shopping cart, and that'll show on the right side. But we can also use this at the merch booth or, you know, for concessions as well. So I can hit products and we can add on a t-shirt, a large t-shirt. Um, I can scroll down here and add on food items like a cheese cheeseburger or a soft drink or something like that. And it'll all show up in this in the shopping cart on the right. Now, I'm not saying that um, you're gonna do all of these items in one transaction. You'd probably do these at different places like the ticket booth and the merch booth and the concession stand. I'm just letting you know that our platform can handle all of these different payment types. So we are a one-stop solution for all of these items if you wanna keep them all in the same reporting on the same platform, all that sort of thing. Now, once we're done, uh, we can apply a promo code if we hit promo code or we can just hit checkout. Now, the cool thing with checkout is we're actually going to give you a free card reader. And I think I can pull up my camera here on the phone and show you what that looks like. Yeah, right on. So this is my camera. This is the card reader in its dock. It also comes out of the dock, so it can be mobile and you can use it, um, walk around with it. That's a OK. Let me grab a card real quick. Here is my test credit card with our application. Um, so we can insert a card by doing a chip card here, um, or we can use it for even stuff like Google Pay or Apple Pay or tap to pay cards. And if you do that, you just tap it right on the front and instantly our mobile app is going to recognize that and complete the sale. It's that easy to complete a sale. You can have them sign on the screen. Um, and from here, you can also email them a receipt, the customer receipt, or you can even print out tickets. We do work with Boca concert style ticket printers to do full color, you know, printed tickets, 
at the venue uh, that people can take back as a souvenir. Or you can also use the receipt printer just to print a receipt with a scannable barcode that they can come back with and scan in with. Either work. Um, and this is not to say that you have to use one of those printers. You can just do the email receipt functionality to start and then upgrade you know, to one of those professional printers at a later point in time, if you like. Uh, totally up to you guys. We're just there to grow with you. Now, there's a lot more that I could show you about this whole process and the passage apps and, and how it works. But these are the crucial things, I think. You know, one other thing that I do want to grab real quick is to show you that we are packed with integrations to make your life easier. So we actually integrate with over 2,000 different web apps that you can use to automate your life every day. These are things ranging from MailChimp to Gmail to Google Sheets, Google Calendar, Trustpilot, your CRM systems, whatever you like. You can do things like uh, automatically add a transaction to a shared Google Sheet. This could be handy for automatically if somebody has a merch transaction notifying your merch booth that they need to bring, you know, 12 medium t-shirts to the event because they're pre-sold. You can automatically add a customer to your constant contact or MailChimp mailing list. And in fact, you can even have an email automatically go out to that customer after the event ends with a survey uh, to ask how it was and maybe a discount code to come back next time. You can automatically ask them for a review on Trustpilot or, or somewhere else or, or uh, you know, even add them automatically to your CRM or accounting system. Uh, it's endless, the things that you can set up to happen in an automatic way. And I can't stress this enough. That's going to simplify your life so much more. So if you think it's valuable to have something like the customization here uh, that you can embed right into your website and have product and merchandise upsells to increase your revenue and have social discounts to increase your reach um, and things like the automation through Zapier and our integrations with over 2,000 web apps to, to grow your audience and, and keep track of it all. If that could be valuable to you, I want to talk to you. Get a hold of us. Hit us up at start at gopassage.com. We would love to chat with you. Uh, my name is Alex Linebrink. I'm the founder and CEO of Passage. You can hit me directly at alex at gopassage.com. And we would love to help you reach more fans and sell more tickets this year and beyond. Thanks a ton. Uh, and here's to a great next event.